Richard, we're talking water leak detection. We are automatic water shutoff devices. We've been talking about this story for a long time, chasing it because water damage is a big story in American homes, you know. And then when these things happen, they seem like they only happen when you're not there. You're gonna have a leak at a toilet, underneath the sink, right. a bathtub, right. and I mean even the washing machines when they come with shutoffs, yeah. we just don't use right. them. So first generations had these little hockey pucks and they you put them there and only communicate locally. But nowadays, all of these technology talk, has an app and talks to the, through the internet. And it, the only difference between the two major categories is how they sense the leak. Mm -hmm. In either case, you're gonna have to install at the water main, you're gonna intercede, break that water main, put it in here. Here's one here and one right here. Yep. So in this example right here, they have these sensors. Now these, you can have more than 20 of these sensors and you would put them near the wash machine, near the water heater and the places where you would be some, some uh, chance of a water leak. And so you have to have actual water, right? There's That's two right. little probes, That's right. if contact is made, right. Right. that alarms. It's battery operated, it goes up to the internet and goes right to this valve huh. and shuts it off. Do you want to test one for me? Test it as in like make a leak? We have full water pressure <laughs> on this demo right here. Of course I want to make a leak. Okay. Are you kidding me? I want you to cut this hose, cut the cut the red one. So you really want me to cut it? Yes. You sure? Full... I don't want to hear you you know complaining after I cut it. Ready? Oh don't. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> so so now you can see it goes down to that sensor. Now it's gonna send a signal. It's still flowing. Right. Okay. Is that expected? It, it takes about 30 seconds to process it, but that 30 seconds is still that. Now here oh, it goes. Here it alarm. is. There it is. See it? Whoa. Okay. Look at that. So now that is pretty good news if you were away from the building and this hose let go. So you know this is discouraging, right? So some people here think, well, that's no good. But the reality is that's 30 seconds. Oh yeah. If this was three hours oh, yeah. or three yeah. days, oh, yeah. this is nothing. In the house I grew up in, I've talked about it before on camera, we had a wash machine hose go on the second floor and that house was never ever the same. Went, Water went came went down for, for a day. Yeah, I, I had a buddy whose kitchen sink when he was skiing yeah. and four days later. That's right. Yeah. So right. if this one senses sort of at a point of contact, Right. Okay, that's right. one category. Right. What's the other category? Well, this one has no sensors. It actually, you're dying to cut it, aren't you? So this one actually learns the building, it learns how you use water. You know, it comes through here and it sees what a typical shower is and it sees what a typical dishwasher is and it learns the building, it learns the usage pattern in the building. Right. But if it sees an anomaly, if it sees that all of a sudden there's just a, a, the equivalent of an open pipe, Absolutely, that's never seen before. It would then shut that water main off without any local sensors. So it's measuring basically flow. Yep. It gets used to what flow should yeah, absolutely. be. Absolutely. And if flow starts doing something it shouldn't. Absolutely. Ooh, okay. can we test this? You betcha. So let me take them in, I'll get it set up and we'll do it. All right, so I've got a new hose for you to cut. And now I've installed this valve back here to replace it. So, so this guy is literally learning, measuring flow, figuring it out. Every second of every day it sees usage patterns inside the buildings and learns the building and then decides if it sees something. So what I've got here, I've got it in away mode because it also, if you're going to be away for a long time, it'll sense if anything is drawn, it'll know that there's a problem and okay. it'll shut it off, okay? All right, so same drill, right? Yeah. Just going to snap this guy, all right, and whoa, look at that. Okay. So with this, it doesn't have the sensor, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to sense. It could be up to a minute. The brain is yep. measuring That's right. flow, yep. starting to figure out something's wrong. Yep. Still unsettling to see this amount of water <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. go into your house. Right. And even though that feels like a long time and a lot of water, yep. if this wasn't on here, this sensor, this could just keep going All for hours yep. or yep. days. Oh. Here it is. Ah, look at that. There it is, okay? Nice. So now, phew. <laughs> so okay. there's something unnerving about water leaking in. So two different categories, right. a lot in each category. So right. many to choose right. from, thoughts on picking one? Whatever one you pick, good. Just get one, just right. get one, because it's really, it's a great saver. And the insurance companies love it because water damage is one of the biggest right. issues in a, in a house. Very cool, Richard, right. thank cool. you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.